from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. Some pretty snow, impactful snow, but pretty snow across northeastern Oklahoma this morning as the storm now slides further south and east. Some of the snow reports we've gotten up to this point, mention this off the top of the broadcast, but if you missed it a little while ago, the big winter so far uh, report in the south side of Jinx of four inches of snow. A lot of two to three inch reports have been pretty common. Obviously, this is just a handful of them. There have been a lot more. You know the drill, your backyard may have had a little bit more, a little bit less. It, there may have been some drifting in spots, but generally two, three inches. Muskogee, Pryor, Coffeyville, Kansas, Independence, Sedan, same story. Tulsa officially three inches. We may see a little bit more added uh, to that total. And those heavy bands really did uh, add up pretty quickly. And as always, some spectacular pictures. Folks, we love seeing these, and please keep sending them in. We'll try to share as many as we can. This one from William and Hull, that's in the Okmulgee County area. That red barn just popping against that. A snowy scene absolutely gorgeous and Johnny Johnson in the Wagner area kind of an aerial view there but talk about a good example of how the roads quickly improve when the snow tapers off road temperatures were just warm enough it appears that once the heavier snowfall rates diminished we started to see some improvement that obviously was aided quite a bit by all the road crews and the pre-treating that they did. Once the heavier rates kind of uh, diminished, the treatment started really taking effect there. So gorgeous scenes of the snow, but then the road's looking good. And that's kind of how it looks here in downtown Tulsa now. We're looking on the north leg of the IDL. Snow on the ground, but not a whole lot of snow on the roads anymore. And we'll certainly take that. South Tulsa Highway 169 uh, looking pretty good as well. Now we did have uh, about 20 minutes ago, still some plows going through. You still see uh, the uh, sides and the shoulders are pretty slushy and our trackers mentioned that earlier that's what still could catch you on the highways this afternoon so your highway speed certainly better than this morning but be aware coming around a curve you know if you're going you know maybe through an exit entrance ramp through some of those slushy spots don't be going too terribly fast you can still uh, you know catch a little bit of a slick spot there a few flurries down the turnpike west of Bristow, even into Tulsa as well. And then we've had a light to moderate bend of snow redevelop near Muskogee up through Tahlequah, Siloam Springs, and Westville. This will probably be kind of your last gasp snow band here, but some areas in here have already picked up about three inches of snow, and you'll add a little bit more on top of that. And in southeastern Oklahoma, this is the, the tail end of the winter storm here. You see redevelopment just south of McAllister near Kiowa, sleet and snow here, sleet and snow near Sardis Lake and Clayton, and in too far Southern LaFleur County has been a little bit more icy here, kind of on the far, far southern fringe of our viewing area. Now, by mid to late afternoon, that starts to move out. We're still seeing there's that kind of trailing snow band from J.D. McManus in the Fort Gibson area. Still looks pretty. Again, it kind of tapered off, and then it's picked back up. Not as uh, white out as it was a couple hours ago, but still pretty. Von Caster back near the Muskogee vicinity. And again, uh, if you've been watching from earlier this morning to now, you can definitely notice the improvement on the main roads. A lot of them have cleared out quite a bit, but we'll just have to watch later this evening, of course. Bob Roloff coming up the Muskogee Turnpike. A lot of wet spots there, but once again, notice how kind of slushy it is on the sides of the roads. That'll still catch you at times. And then Tim Crone coming back into the Tulsa Metro. We're seeing mainly wet conditions on the highways there, and that's definitely a good sign. But as we head into tonight, there will be some refreezing as we fall back below freezing. For the rest of our Friday, we're going to attempt to make a run at the freezing mark by late in the day here in Tulsa. May not get too far above that, but there'll be a few sun breaks working in by the end of the day. Gusty north winds, so you still need the big coat. And then we fall back to the 20s tonight. And of course, this is where that refreezing uh, potential comes back in. So as far as travel goes overall, really, we're really not all that bad. I've got yellow, yellow light here, caution light, but really it's Pretty much green light on the main highways now, but later this evening into tonight when we see a little bit of the icing back up on at least some of the black ice on bridges and overpasses, you'll have to be aware of that. Through the afternoon, and yeah, the snow will eventually come to an end in far eastern and southeastern Oklahoma. Temperatures, though, not recovering very much. It's going to stay quite cold for the rest of our Friday. Uh, overnight, winds diminish. Uh, we clear out. Might still be a passing cloud, a passing flurry overnight, but nothing significant. Lows mostly in the teens, so a hard freeze in the morning. And then we start the rebound tomorrow afternoon as we kick in a west-southwesterly breeze. 40s east of Tulsa. We may actually already bounce back to the 50s west of Tulsa. It gets a lot warmer from there. Folks were asking, when are the 60s and 70s coming back? Well, not too far away. Actually, Sunday into Monday, we're back in the 60s. It's almost like this winter storm will be a distant memory. Could be a few thunderstorms late Monday. And as we head into next week, of course, that is spring break week for a lot of folks in green country. And look at that. We've got 70s on the map again next Wednesday, next Thursday.